Hey there YouTube, HTC Junkie 16 here with you today with a review for you of the Powermat 2X wireless charging station. This is the 2X wireless charging station, meaning it has two sections for you to charge a ton of mobile devices. A while back I reviewed the portable mat, which is a three section foldable mat that charges obviously three devices, and um, it folds up almost to about this size probably just a bit shorter and it does come with a carrying case as well. This is a more affordable, cheap, home and office type solution that you may be interested in. It's also very thin. It has a nice sleek bezel around it. So what it does come with is the tip storage and all the tips. So here's the tip storage here. You can hold a, quite a few amount of tips in there, probably your most used tips. Also comes with the infamous power cube right here which is basically the mini USB and I have a lot of mini USB devices and this works very well with it so I'm glad that it's the default tip there going through the tips it has a micro USB tip DS Lite, DSi, Sony and the Sony tip actually works with many camcorders to my knowledge it works with my current Sanyo camcorder as well as other Sony camcorders as well so to me it's more like a universal camcorder tip more than a Sony. Moving on we got Samsung, LG and the infamous Apple tip. If you're wanting to charge your iPad, iPad 3G, iPad Wi-Fi with the power mat, it will not charge at the correct voltage that your iPad is meant to be charged at. It will charge at a slightly lower voltage and on the top right corner of your iPad it will say not charging just because it doesn't have the 10 watt voltage that the iPad needs to charge. With that being said, it still does charge your iPad, but it charges it at a slightly slower rate. So don't be deceived if it says not charging. It is still charging. It won't show the percentage, but if you take it out after like five minutes, you'll see that the percentage did go up. So to basically charge anything, you can use one of their receivers that you can purchase for additional. This does not come with any power mount except the bundled power mats with receivers. So here I have a 3GS one. Basically you put your 3GS in. I don't have a 3GS to show you right now. And you just drop it on the mat. You'll see a loud sound. And what I don't like about this one is that it doesn't have any buttons on the back to adjust the sound or the light being on or off. So as you can see, there's a light shining letting you know that it is charging. Now what's cool about the power mat is that once your device is finished charging it will stop giving charge to that device and that device only so overcharging your devices is not a good thing so basically you can also charge with the power cube or different accessories such as iPod, iPhone docks that PowerMat has to offer so it's basically charged with the power cube you just drop it on you hear the sound you can connect any of your tips or just use the mini USB here plug it in and plug it into your device it's a very simple, no hassle solution. The only thing is the price at $69.99. It's a bit pricey, but if you have tons of cables and lots of devices to charge, here you only get two, but it's a very slim form factor. I really suggest a power mat. Right now, this is basically what they call wireless charging. It only has one adapter going to the wall, and you can charge two, three, up to three devices with different types of mats. So it also comes with an owner's manual, which basically is very self-explanatory, tells you what it includes, and that's basically it. So if you're interested in this product, it is priced at $69.99 Canadian, $59.99 US, and the receivers go for about $50. Bucks. So if you're interested in this product, their website is powermat.com, and go check it out in the bottom bar below. Thanks for watching.